sunny wearing my up the shoulder top that keeps on creeping up it always ends up doing that you know when you want it down here so yes when this girl does occasionally and I mean occasionally step out in the Sun we will wear our SPF so we get the beautiful tan now being that this was about ooh, let's see we were on the other side of the island at the beach kind of getting a little bit of R&R &R, and I went ahead and wore my bathing suit that is almost like a crop top so then that way I don't have those like bikini lines and stuff that goes around your neck and um, yeah I think uh, we actually were under a umbrella and then the only time I actually got tanned was when we were in the water but this girl is always applying her SPF yes this girl is always applying her SPF so don't worry but that's where we're getting a beautiful uh, tropical uh, tan. I know a lot of you are like, oh, look at that tan. Not the bronze. It's a little bit of sunshine, the tropical sunshine here in Hawaii. But yes, um, other than that, um, I really prefer just soft tanning. And in fact, I should probably do a video on this. See, I come up with so many ideas, like when I'm in the car talking to you guys that I end up actually using, I think, tan towels. I'll buy the ones that are like for the full body. You just have to make sure that you go ahead and use gloves because if you don't wash your hands after that, you know what happens to your hands? You look like a orange Oompa Loompa. So you have to be careful when you're using um, any kind of tan product. So if I'm using like a mousse or a gel and I wanna try something new, I'll go ahead and use a mitt. And then after that, still go ahead and wash my hands. So. I end up doing that. Other than that, um, yeah, tan towels. In fact, I'll just link it at the bottom. You want to go check it out. So if you want to go ahead and YouTube it, you might want to go ahead and do that. I'm actually here at the stuff sign so I can actually look at you guys. It's a beautiful day. We got a little bit of makeup. Here we go. Running some errands. Going to meet up with girlfriend. And who knows, maybe if she's out there, I'll end up being able to chat with you guys a little bit more. It's a beautiful day. I know a lot of people end up looking actually in the reflection of my sunglasses and they're like, yeah, we can kind of say the beautiful sunshiny day. So go ahead and leave me your comments down at the bottom. Let me know, darling, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Also, I would love to know, what time is it that uh, you're actually watching my videos? I was kind of curious on that because sometimes I don't really trust my analyticals, you know, for YouTube. So um, I saw another content creator doing this. So if you can just go ahead and tell me uh, what time, well, actually the date and the time would actually end up helping because I like to know whether it's better for me to be releasing a video closer to the afternoon, like maybe like between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. my time, then that way for those of you who are ahead of me can go ahead and watch it during the evening. Or do I actually want to put it on scheduler, which all of my videos are actually on scheduler. So if I'm running errands right now and there's a video that's going up, I don't have to worry about um, releasing the video or finding internet to go ahead and release the video. So normally I have it on scheduler, but I've been kind of testing to see whether it's better to go ahead and release it like at midnight, my time, Hawaii Standard Time, or whether I want to do it closer in the afternoon between 1 and 3 p.m. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below, darling, uh, what time am I watching this video? Now I know that for a lot of you, it's like, girlfriend, uh, 
I don't have a lot of time to go ahead and watch videos. And I apologize for the sun because I just made a turn. I actually have a spray, and I think it's from Neutrogena uh, self SPF spray that I like to go ahead and use. So when it sprays on a brush like today, I just went ahead and slapped on makeup, went ahead and put my lip on, got the sunglasses, got these earrings, were actually from my bark bay. So, uh, yeah, so it's very important because even when you're car vlogging, look at that. Not in the sun, in the sun. So we always need the SBF to keep us protected from the tropical sunshine. Still heading over here. Oh, what street is this that I'm actually on? I wish I could actually find a feature on my phone where I could actually turn it around. And yes, I'm using my iPhone. So what I end up doing is I'll text the children and Mr. Jim and let them know, uh, yeah, I'm heading down out of the house and this girl is car vlogging. So I tend to put my phone on airplane mode so I won't get the interruptions, but I do have my iPad right here. So if you hear a ting, yeah, then somebody's actually texting me and I'm able to go ahead and when I get to my final destination, I'm able to take it off of airplane mode and get back to them, but never text and drive. Is it against the law? And it's very expensive. You don't want that on your on your driving record. It is the afternoon. Let's see. Ooh, two o'clock. No wonder there's so much traffic. I think this is more like school traffic. Lots and lots of school traffic. Goodness, I remember those days where I used to go pick up my kids from school just around this time. When I was working full time, at least I had a nice boss where I could go still pick up the children from school. Probably take them for a treat. I always made like Fridays a treat day so that way they would have something to look forward to. I would either take them to like Baskin and Robbins. Now, I mean, this is when they were like in elementary or uh, middle school. Once they got to high school, it was like, oh no, mama, I want a meal. I want McDonald's or something like that. We're coming up to Bayfront. Ooh, road closed ahead. Well, not where I'm going, but I can see another one. Which means it's very, very windy today. And the reason why they have that closed, which I actually wanted to cross over and show you folks, but we actually have um, some high waves actually coming in over the brick wall. So they went ahead and closed that off. So I apologize. We're going to have to take a detour and go the other way. Maybe I'll find a place to park very close to the restaurant and um, show you folks a little bit of things that I'm going to be giving a girlfriend. I'm doing a lot of decluttering in my closet because this girl has like too many scarves. Okay, I have a lot of scarves. I have a lot of scarves. I shouldn't be like in denial. This girl has like way too many scarves. Okay, I have like way too many scarves. So what I'm going to end up doing is probably decluttering. Let me see if I can turn into this area here. Much better. Well, sort of. Kind of. Ooh, there we go. Okie dokie. So let's see. What time is it? Afternoon lunch. Ooh, slightly after two. Still going, doing good on the timing. I've got my hydro flask right here. I know I still got the sun. That's kind of coming in. That's why I tend to put extra XP, SPF, SPF on this side of my body. Because when I'm driving, you know, you're going to get a little bit of a sun tan when you're driving. I'm making high vlogs. Staying hydrated. Always carry water with me. Okay, so I went to my peel box. And one day I'm going to go over my makeup bag because I know everybody tends to ask, girlfriend, uh, you need to go ahead and discuss what's actually in your bag. But I don't know whether to show you folks what I'm actually giving her. I should probably do that because once I see her, it's going to be gone. Um, I went ahead and found a plastic bag, sorry for the noise, uh, to put some of these scarves that I'm actually giving her. So I'll show you all the different colors. Let's open it up. I went ahead and had it dry clean so it's nice and clean. Now these are the smaller square scarves. This is just half. Ooh. So when you open it, it's actually a nice big square. Big square. These are the ones that would actually tie and be able to put it like around your neck like this. Okay, tie it like in a bowl. In fact, I'll go ahead and tie it so everybody's like, what you mean? Tie it in a bowl. Okay, this is just a shell. 
Oh, this one's nice. Yeah, good thing I have like three of these, okay? So that's the size that I'm actually giving her. So there's this one, which is actually like a creamy gold color. That's a beautiful color. I think that'll go nice because she has um, almost like the same uh, skin tone complexion as me. So we have that one. I know everyone's looking at me like, uh, why are you talking to yourself in the car? Because she's on a YouTube. Okay, this is a nice color. Ooh, I think the orchids that I have at home is almost similar. Like a purple magenta color. Pretty, yeah? Huh? That's a nice color. Mm. And then this one is a jet white. The other one was more like cream. This is more like a jet white. Okay. This one is more of a pinky color compared to the other one. Like I'm going to put them side by side so then you know the difference between both colors. Pretty, yeah? Okay, we got those two. I just wanted to show you the difference. This one is a cream. And then the longer ones that you actually have with the tassels here on the side. This one is more like in a peachy salmon color. Because I think that'll go nicely with her skin tone. And then we have this one, which is almost like a split between a yellow and a rust color. So I thought all these scars would be perfect. And since I am decluttering a lot of my scarves, I think it would be an excellent idea to actually share some of these. Because if they're just sitting in my um, closet and I'm not using it, it's always a good idea to go ahead and share some of these items. So let me put them back into this bag. That way it won't get dirty. And we're going to put it on the side. So I see my girlfriend. She's pulling up right here. Yes, this girl's. I know she's like, girl, you're always yapping on the YouTube when you're in the car. When am I not yapping in the car with you guys? So, so what I wanted to do was tag you folks along with me. So my name is Madeline Naipo. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha. Bye-bye.